All right, how's it going, everybody? Today is a uh, well. Here, today's date is Monday, uh, June seventh, and uh, hope you guys all had a nice weekend. Um, today's video is um, a tribute to Matt Hilton, um, as well as I just want to kind of make it a general tribute to everybody in the wet shaving community. So, if you're watching this, this also goes out to you. Um, Matt Hilton, um, his username it was a uh, one twenty. Um, Inna, I-N-N-A, uh, 55. Um, he was a wet shaver from Texas. Um, I never had any, I don't know if I, I didn't meet him in person. I don't know that I um, ever got a chance to like, chat with him over phone, but um, I definitely uh, was familiar with a lot of his posts um, throughout the years that I've been active in the forums. Um, I don't know that he was ever on YouTube, but um, he was across... Um, he was a frequent user across a lot of the different shaving um, platforms. So again, that's kind of why I wanted to, you know, also make this video in tribute to just the, the wet shaving community in general, because, um, you know, sometimes we're kind of more active in one or two, you know, specific like facets of the community, you know, be it like Instagram or Facebook. Um, there's obviously a plethora of um, different shave forums. Um, you know, YouTube, um, you know, video people. And, um, I just kind of want to take this, you know, time to just say thank you to everybody in the, the community. I think that, you know, we have a lot of really, really good active people in the community that make this, this hobby great. Um, and I've, I've said it before. I think that as much fun as the, the actual, like, tools or the act of shaving is in this hobby. Um, I've always found that one of the, the biggest aspects is how everybody in the community wants to, you know, get other people into it. They want to be able to help um, others that are, you know, first starting off. Um, I know I've gotten a chance to, you know, get people started, um, you know, help people out when I was working in Old Town Shaving. And, um, you know, sometimes in my old videos, um, sometimes I'm a little bit more dry or, you know, I, I may be not the most enthusiastic, um, person. There's not always like the biggest, uh, I don't have the biggest personality on video, but I really wanted to make an effort today to, you know, give my, my heartfelt, um, you know, condolences to, to Matt's family. But, you know, in general, the, the shaving community is, you know, it's going to miss Matt. And, um, so I kind of want to make this a, a cool shave you guys, after I get my first pass done, if you guys give me a moment after that, um, I want to do kind of like a charity, um, thing in, I guess, memoriam for Matt, but just to, to kind of get some, um, some, some good vibes, um, real quick, you guys, I don't know what this is. Someone gifted it to me for a long, a long time ago. Um, Taiwan Tobacco and Liquor Corporation. I, I can't remember exactly what this is. So I like never do this, but this uh, this is to Matt, and this is to all of you guys. Um, you know, stay safe, um, stay well, you guys. Sincerely, cheers to everybody. I really enjoy being able to um, just shoot the shit with everybody and just kind of keep in touch, whether it's, um, you know, to chat shaving or just kind of chat about life. Um, I, I really appreciate everybody's time and friendship. So, not too shabby. I'm gonna do some water though. I'm not gotta chase it with some water. Okay, so today I'm using, I already have my shave soap um, loaded up. I'm using Flying Mango, threw some coconut butter on. I want to make sure uh, while I'm on video, I get some good lather um, in remembrance of Matt. Um, I almost used Badger, but you know what? Since uh, Douglas was the one to share the news, I, I saw it, I think, is it first thing Saturday or, or Sunday on Facebook? And um, I was real bummed, so seems like a lot of people have been able to to do some tributes and stuff. 
So I'll kind of try to do my part. Like I said, if you guys give me a chance to finish my first pass, I'll kind of give you guys a, a bit on what I'm going to try to do and involve you guys. So, um, you know, one of the things I wanted to do is because Matt was so well known for like his shave of the day photos and kind of his write ups kind of want to give like a just a quick little review of just some of the different stuff so this flying mango the scent um, includes it says complex aroma um, using tobacco leaves top notes include citrus um, slight balsamic um, body notes are um, aromatic with a hint of floral and lavender and a base of wood and musk so um, get some water going in this I know uh, Matt was a big, big user of a lot of different things, um, a lot of different types of brushes. I want to say there was like a Kent brush. I think I was looking through a couple of his old Shave of the Day photos earlier today. And like I said, I knew him on the forums. It's not like the only platform he was on, but I think there was a Kent brush I was wanting to get from somebody and he ended up snagging it before I did but um, yeah he'd use badger he'd use double edge razors single edge he'd use a lot of different types of soaps a lot of the different vendors like I said I did hear from um, Douglas he was the one to, to share the news but um, a lot of different vendors have been you know Mentioning that, you know, he's he was a, a active member in the community for a long time. So, you know, if you guys don't know him, uh, I'm sure you're going to be able to check out some of his old posts. It's going to keep adding this water. Oh yeah, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I thought what was kind of neat. Um, However it goes, I know his, his wife had made a post on Reddit saying, um, you guys, I'm, I'm Matt's wife. He had mentioned that if anything were to ever to happen to kind of let his his family and the wet shaving community know, you know, that he said, what's up? You know, I think that's so cool. It really shows how, how tied to the community he was. Um, I think just that, you know, his wet shaving family was definitely a... Uh, He really, he really felt close to the people in the hobby, so. Yeah, like I said, you know, uh, this last year, I think it's, it's been, you know, real tough for a lot of people in different ways because of you know, the pandemic, maybe some people, uh, you know, we're dealing with different stuff going on with work, um, whether it's friends or family directly or indirectly being impacted by different things. Um, you know, I know it kind of put a added stress on probably everybody. So like I said, this, uh, this video is obviously a tribute to, to Matt that you know, I think, like I said, for, for him to be able to, you know, make mention to his wife whenever it was to, you know, just let my, uh, you know, my, my friends and family in the shave community know that, you know, that I'm here watching you guys from above, so to speak, you know, I don't know if he's religious or not, but. I was a really nice guy. Okay, just really, I don't know if anyone, uh, earlier when I was driving, this one's, this, this is just about ready to lather, but I think in the link below, I'll put a link to um, a band named Kansas, and they have a, a song called Icarus, and uh, Born on Wings of Steel. I was listening to that, and I was just kind of, put me in the right type of mood. Today, we, we finally got some, uh, some clouds and some cooler weather in SoCal. And um, what do you think, Matt? Is this lather okay for your uh, little shave tribute? I 
hope so, my man. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to link that. Maybe you guys can give it a listen. And it's a little bit of a rock song, but Matt was, like I said, just positive dude. Really solid guy. Um, I didn't, like, pick out too much uh, gear specifically for him. So today I have my stainless steel and car uh, carbon fiber handle. This is the carbon titanium um, top cap and base plate. I'm using the minus base plate with a uh, Kai blade in it. I'm going to go against the grain because I only have two days beard growth. This is probably just going to be a two pass shave. So, oh, that's sure nice and easy. Got a nice good shave in for the beginning of the week. A little uh, kind of mood music going on in the back. So if the volume's a little different or it, it, the microphone picks up a little bit different, um, I really just kind of wanted to have a little bit of a different feeling for this video. And Good. Yeah, I got my uh, birthday next Monday. Don't be surprised if I get another couple of videos going this week or next week. Um, I'm going to be uh, getting into my 30s and just, you know, although the number is superficial, it does kind of, you know, make you think, you know, okay, moving forward in life, is there any anything that, you know, you might want to shoot for differently or, you know, just think about different mindset, different attitude different experiences you want to have um, I don't know that I've ever really done like a tribute so to speak I know I did one kind of sometime recently kind of relating to a couple people that you guys don't know but just people that I know that we lost during the, the time of COVID but this isn't like a normal thing for me to to do. So, like I said, kind of in the spirit of uh, paying tribute to Matt and to just the wet shaving community and just how how much I really appreciate everybody's company. I think we got a more than more than enough examples of really great people in this hobby. So I kind of wanted to, you know, just step out a little, little outside my normal routine of just getting up here and rambling about my technical thoughts on shaving. So let me just give this a rinse. I'll kind of share with you guys what my thought was. Not like a direct, indirect. Like I said, trying to throw some good juju out in the world. Is that something very many people say? I think I kind of learned that from my some of my friends that I know in ceramics. Um, real quick, I'm going to throw in... Um, so this is the minus base plate. I'm going to throw on the plus plate. And then once I get lathered up in a couple minutes, I'll... I'll uh, get that second second pass going and that should pretty much be it let's see how this uh this face feels and give it a rinse face feels calm feels soft feels slick 
there. I think we'll just shoot for a, a across the grain once we give that a moment. Let me get some water. Okay, so I'm going to post this video um, in, in quite a few different places, but um, you know, normally my shave videos are not, there's not a ton of viewership, um, and that's for a lot of different reasons, but um, I kind of want to leave this open, so if you guys want to comment on this video, what I normally do is I always um, review all comments. Um, and there's a couple different reasons for that. But I'm telling you guys that so that if you guys would like to, um, after you guys see the two brushes I'm gonna mention, if you guys are interested in helping purchase, um, however we wanna put this, you can leave a comment and I will not publicize it um, just to keep it private. Or if you guys are on like damn fine shave, um, I'll post this in Shave Nook, so I gotta find my login information. You guys can private message me. Um, I'll share this on Facebook, um, Instagram. So just know if you guys comment and you want it, you want it to be private, um, I will abide by that. So um, don't be afraid to leave a public comment in this. So I did double check because I wanted to make sure if there was like a GoFundMe or something like that for um, Matt and his family. Um, I wanted to make sure I um, didn't see something like that, and I didn't. One of the comments that his wife had mentioned was if there was going to be any donations, one option is if we wanted to donate to like an animal shelter. So the two brushes that I want to um, throw up for um, purchase or donation, this is a um, Vilong. Put this up here. This is from Foro Ifaitaro. They say it's a it's a pure badger um, silver tip. This this was labeled a high mountain white though, um, and this one's a little bit more fanish, but it's a very nice brush. This is broken in. I've taken very good care of it. It is a little bit more um, on the soft side for for some people, so I want to throw in this. So in case you guys still want a really nice high mountain white, somewhat fanish brush. But you want just a little bit more backbone. I'm gonna throw in this little band that just gives a little bit more backbone. I think this one has the brush stand too. Yep, got the brush stand. It says Vilong in the back. It's got like the little felt backing. So have the box with this. It's a very nice brush, just for the sake of trying to give you guys a little bit more of the details as far as the knot width. I can't remember if this measures to 24 or 25. It's a little over um, 24. It's it's pretty much right at it though. Um, as far as the loft height, it's right around 55 millimeters. Um, no glue bump, so very good on lather production. The flow through and release is really good. Uh, not a gel tip brush, just very soft. It's, it's not gonna be gooey, it's not gonna be mushy. Um, just a very genuine three band, silver tip, high mountain white, whatever your preference is. Um, it's got the kind of faux ivory or kind of cream colored resin with a faux horn. Again, this is from the Spanish forum called the uh, Foro Ifaitado. So this is up for grabs. If you guys want to make a uh, offer, give me a second. Let me just kind of clarify that in a moment. This is the other brush. This is the um, Samog. Uh, made in Portugal. This is number 90. This is a um, um, Shave Nook, number 90 out of 100, um, 2020 special edition. This is on the other end. This is quite a bit more stiff. This is a very, very resilient um, three band silver tip with lots of backbone. Um, not a gel tip, much more scrubby. For those of you guys that like backbone, this is the brush that you would want to consider if you guys want a little bit more of a luxurious but more plush and soft feeling with quite a bit less um, resistance, a little bit more bend and flow, I would recommend this. So my thought was, you guys, I am willing to split the shipping with you. And if you guys want to just shoot me a message and make an offer, like if you guys like this brush, you can say, 
Zach, I'm gonna, oh, and I can let you guys know, I think I bought this for like 120 bucks um, before shipping. This one before shipping from Spain, I think was 125. So just if you guys wanna know how much I purchased them for, um, you can tell me, hey, I'm willing to pay 120 for this if that's what you want. And you're not gonna pay me, we'll work out privately if you guys wanna like do a donation to like what Matt's wife was saying, like an animal uh, shelter, we can do that. If you have an, another preference for maybe like a, a donation to, you know, shelter or, or, you know, feeding the homeless or something, just I'm kind of open to whatever. Like I said, the sentiment is just to um, move a couple brushes that I think are nice. I'm just, I'm, I'm fine with moving them forward. And if you guys have something in mind that you think is um, a good, a good cause, um, basically we just need to work out like, Hey, I think that's, um, you know, something that we can agree on. If you're in the U S, um, shipping shouldn't be too expensive. It should be like 10 bucks. We can just split that. And then if you guys are international, I will, I will allow it to, um, be available to you too. I'll be happy to pay half of the shipping. Um, but I don't know that I'm necessarily going to make it like it has to be the highest bidder or whatever. But um, like I said, just if if you want to make an offer and say, hey, uh, I'm willing to shoot you guys like 80 bucks for, for this and let's let's do it for this cause. Um, I, I don't think that should be too complicated. I kind of want to make it more loose and just make it a more personal thing. So, again, um, and even if you guys wanted to do both, you can make an offer on that. So I don't know. And if. I think it's a pretty pretty reasonable um, offer. So, like I said, I have the case for both of them. Um, this one has been cleaned. I wouldn't say necessarily that it's fully broken in, but um, I got some good use with it. So it's um, at least gives you guys something to work with. So I don't know. Like I said, I kind of want to. I'm getting close to being 30 years old, and that's not something I don't think I've I've ever done. But. Um, I may try to do that with some of my pottery next week. So let's get one more pass in. Um, like I said, you guys, I will... Ooh, this is nice and warm. I was letting that sit in the scuttle. So, hope you guys are all doing good. I don't know if Matt had any kids, but if his wife sees this, um, I, I don't know if I saw her name, but I just want to give my condolences to to her and, and Matt's family. Um, Matt will definitely be remembered. bit more water and then we'll get this last pass going. And the other thing I'll do is if you guys want to make an offer on either one of those brushes, I'll throw in a, a little bit of a blade sampler for you guys. So, and I'll make it some, you know, some interesting stuff. So, Like I said, Matt, hopefully you, you like the lather. Hopefully he approves. So second pass across the grain plus base plate. Feeling good.
part of the reason why I wanted to use those two brushes is those ones have a little bit of value. Um, it, not like if I were to sell them on the market, um, like in the BST, I would expect those to retain that full purchase price value. But there's a couple other like synthetic and other badger brushes that weren't quite as um, rare or limited. And I just think that um, it would be a little different if I was like, here, I'm giving away like, you know, a $10 synthetic. Um, so like I said, I'm, I'm not as concerned about getting the most money for those. I I'm not going to take any money. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll help to, to get it to you if you are willing to make an offer and, uh, tell me if, if you have like a couple ideas on like a charity that we could donate donation whether you guys want to say like it's in Matt's name or not I don't know we'll work it out privately so it's not meant to be some big public public thing just wanted to get a nice nice shave some good positive vibes to start the week Okay. So just to wrap up here, I'm going to throw on PAA fragrance free aftershave first. And then I do have a one of the scented PAA um, aftershaves to go with this. So so I'm going to close up the pores. Okay. So sin fragrance free. Not too bad. Again, you guys, I'm, I have pretty nick prone skin, so these last last couple of shaves have been going pretty smooth. Doesn't feel too bad. Okay, we're going with Harvest Moon, and like I said earlier, I did pull up the fragrance notes just to kind of like in in the spirit of, of Matt's kind of reviews, give you guys a little bit of just a preview of if you were here, kind of what the what scents we got going on. So the SV Soap Shave Well, and now for the rest of the day we have Harvest Moon. Let me just show this one more time. We got the Oud Arger Wood, Green Tobacco, Black Current, Tobacco Absolute, Hay Absolute, Peru Balsam, Smoke, Spanish Moss, and White Sage. Um, I've used this scent quite a few times, and um, we're going to go for using this whole, whole sample. And let's go for it. Oh, like no burn. A little bit of that alcohol. Solid shave. Really solid. All right, like I said, you guys, the shave was in uh, re remembrance of Matt Hilton, 120 and a 55, if that's how you say it. Um, just want to thank him um, for all the good vibes that he was always putting out over the years in the forums and the Facebook groups, just through his pictures and posts. And I just want to share that um, love with all of you guys that, um, again, have met some incredible people in shaving and... Um, as much as the hobby itself is really fun, I really do appreciate all the people that I've been blessed to be able to, to meet and become friends with over the years. So once again, thank you to all of you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hope your week's going good and shoot me a message if you guys would like to do a donation um, in honor of Matt to something. Maybe it's an animal you know, shelter or something like that. We've got the Vylong Silver Tip. By the way, I didn't measure this one. Sorry, you guys, real quick. <clears throat> this one is... I think it's a 25. 
yeah, that'll be 25. And then the loft is 49. So if you like soft, go for this one. The Vylong logo did rub off, but that's just because it got used. I take care of these brushes really well, so I promise you, you're gonna be getting a, a really solid feeling brush. It's just gonna be a matter of if you like backbone, you can grab this. If you like something a little bit softer, um, like I said, send me a message or leave a comment in here. I'll keep it private and um, we can work something out where I'll, I'll cover half of the shipping to get the brush to you and we'll, um, like I said, try to send some good vibes out into the, the world. So you guys take care. It was a really solid shave. Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys later this week. All right.